Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you, this is a car that we've uh, built from scratch, a total rotisserie restoration, and uh, it's now available for sale through our sales division. Uh, so it's a 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe. Um, it originally started its life, we didn't have the original engine, it was an abandoned project. It was originally a 302 V8 car, two barrel, uh, with no power steering, no power brakes and uh, we basically morphed it into this resto mod in front of you. So uh, the paint finish is a base coat, clear coat. It's Ford Vermilion Red. Um, it's uh, been painted I think about three, three and a half years ago. Uh, it's been in storage every winter. We don't drive it much. It has approximately a thousand kilometers or test kilometers. So I think that's roughly about 650 miles. Um, it's a one-off hood. So this hood was a custom made. It's the only one uh, that the company made for us. It's fiberglass where the rest of the whole car is steel. You can see in the front, uh, we have the, the GT looking front end with the authentic GT lights inset on either side of the grill. We've upgraded the lights to a halogen. There are uh, LEDs around the outside for the marker lights. And then we've got the H4 bulbs. Uh, down below we've got the little chin spoiler that's painted to match the car. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just lift up the hood and I'll show with you underneath the hood and then we'll just go around the outside. So this is not your typical 302. Um, this engine block is a 1968 block. It's been completely rebuilt. It's uh, The pistons are 30 over and then we have these uh, aluminum upgraded heads. They're uh, made by the company called Trick Flow. So they're a Trick Flow head um, larger valves, um, it has a mild camshaft in it, uh, we've got the, um, the Ford Racing valve covers, they were originally a polished chrome, uh, we media blasted them and powder coated them gloss black with red trim. The lower and upper intake is an upgraded Edelbrock Performer RPM2 series, and rather than leaving it the cast aluminum, we media blasted it and powder coated it a nice texture black. And then our cold air intake uh, also has the textured black uh, powder coating finish. So the engine's been completely rebuilt, uh, new bearings, uh, all new components inside, new water pump and all of those accessories. We've upgraded the radiator, it's a three core uh, aluminum rad, it has an electric fan with a rheostat. And then you can see we have matching uh, the overflow for the coolant. This is also an aftermarket reservoir which matches. We've got the special coolant uh, caps to match. So um, we've upgraded the transmission. It's now a five-speed manual transmission. And instead of being um, uh, cable driven, it's now hydraulic. So it's a much lighter clutch feel. So this, we haven't had on the dyno yet, but um, all, all indications are it should be about 350 horsepower. So in the next week or so, uh, it's going to go on the dyno, so we'll be able to document and prove exactly what um, the rating is for the engine itself. Um, the chrome bumper is brand new, all the chrome trim. When we come over to the side, to the front, we've got the authentic Ford um, uh, rally style wheel. We've got brand new BF Goodrich radial TAs. We've upgraded the size of those tires. Uh, and the fronts and mat, the front and back match the same. You can see along the bottom, the white is a decal that is removable if, if the, the new owner doesn't like it. We called it the GT 5.0 because it's a GT, and then we have the 5 liter fuel injected engine. We've got all new Mustang insignias, we've got new mirrors, um, and then we have the nice little louver here that's powder coated black. And then when we open up the inside, we have a fully custom interior. I apologize for the floor being a little bit dirty getting in and out of it. Um, the, if you start with the dashboard, the dash, instead of being matte black, it's a full aluminum, high polished. It's all made out of one piece of aluminum uh, that has the same grain going all the way across. We've got the Mustang Insignia on the far right hand side and the passenger, uh, which is authentic. And then you can see we've got with our gauges, they're all white face gauges. There are LED lights in behind, and then something that's an upgrade, uh, and that's in the center of the two gauges, is a clock. You have an analog clock in there. Uh, that's a new old stock clock, and then we've got the white face. Um, so it's just a little bit different. And then you can see we've got the, um, the console 
up above the tack that we have there is a, a retro sound stereo. It looks like a plain, um, just an AM radio, but it's got MP3 player and everything built in. It's electronic when you turn it on. We have the Hurst shifter and knob, and you can see the special red stitching in the center console and the red stitching in the seats. Uh, there's suede in here. I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, but we have suede inserts, and then we have real leather, not vinyl, uh, for the upholstery. And then we've got all new carpeting. And in the back, if I fold this forward, if I get out of the way, um, this is quite nice, I think. It's got the, the buckets and console in the back also. Once again, I apologize, I should vacuum this out. So we've got, obviously, new seat belts, nice cup holder in the back, and then we have the same idea. It's suede and leather uh, in the back. The stereo and the, the speakers in the rear are 6 by 9s uh, and then we have five and a quarters in the front, so quite a nice stereo. And we come along the back, we put these little tiny mud flaps on, which are easily removable. Uh, we just didn't want to have a lot of stone chipping popping up through. On the back of the car, we've got new bumper, all new chrome and trim and lettering, new bezels. These are LED tail lights. They're um, uh, sequential, so when you turn the signal on, uh, they go uh, in, a, in a pattern or in a form. And then down below we've got the LED reverse lights. We have the GT gas cap um, and then a true dual exhaust. You can see the pipes coming out the back. Um, it's a true, it's got headers obviously in the front. And then we've got the X pipe and then their custom exhaust uh, straight from front to back. We open up the trunk lid. He's got a little bit of stuff here inside. Um, you can see um, how nice it is. It's nice and clean inside. We've relocated the battery uh, to the back section. And I'll just move this stuff. We've got the nice carpeting. And then we've got the Mustang logo. And then we've got our battery and our tie down uh, back inside out of the way. Now you can see the bottom side of the trunk is just as shiny and clean as the outside. All new weather stripping. We have um, an original look uh, jack sticker that we put in the back. When we come up this side, you can see we have the authentic marker lights uh, for 68 in the rear. And then uh, we didn't put the lower marker lights. And those of you who are familiar with the 68 Mustang, uh, they have a really big lens down in here. And I just didn't care for that look. I wanted it cleaner looking in the front. Uh, so we didn't put the lights uh, back as they should go there. So this is a quite a nice car. It's fun to drive. Uh, so it's power disc brakes, uh, five-speed manual transmission, a true dual exhaust, roughly 350 horsepower. We'll verify that uh, shortly when we get it on the dyno. It's a very, very clean car. Everything lines up quite, quite nicely. The shine's quite nice. It's just unfortunate the weather's not very nice here today. It's a very cloudy, overcast day because uh, you get a better feel for how nice the, uh, the paint job and how straight the body is um, if it was shinier, uh, brighter weather. But uh, quite a nice car. So this is available for, through sa um, for sale through our sales division. We have our dealer's license here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, you can reach me through email. It's john at lastchanceautorestore.com. So once again, it's a 1968 Ford Mustang 5-liter five 5-speed five Resto Mod. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.